<laughs> We're here today. <laughs> I hate it so to much. To discuss. R-A-M. 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 It's the Ram, 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 so today, off Wade sidebar, mm -hmm. this lovely oh, fall yes. pumpkin that you're seeing, courtesy of one of our castmates, Jenny G. Woo -woo. Um, yes, I designed it, thank you, but she made it come to life. It's so beautiful. I asked for it's gorgeous. a woman with an afro, and she gave me bedazzled and ribbons and such. And Janelle Monet with the black right. and white. And she gave me, okay? Because okay. I don't really do the Halloween. I know my shirts are different. I don't really do the goons and goblins, right. but I'm here for this. <laughs> Also, uh, if you're in Atlanta, next week, uh, Jillian and myself, Wednesday, October 30th, we are in a show called Speechless, The Voice of Survivors. It's a and musical. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's a benefit concert for the United Way of Atlanta, shedding some light on living as a homeless person in this world. So come out and support and see it for you a beautiful, thought-provoking, provocative show. Boom. Whoop. And plus, you get to see us on stage. <laughs> we both have a passion for our brows, our eyebrows. Um, you probably can't see mine on camera at the moment. That's intentional. <laughs> I like to keep them together, and part of keeping them together means you have to go a few weeks without because you don't want them to get too thin, catch it. So anyway, I'm covering mine at the moment, but I'm very serious about my brows. Check my Instagram, thanks. Here's the thing. I come from a thick eyebrow family, which could have potentially went into a unibrow. It, it's dangerous. But the thing is, you don't want to do too much or too little. You should not be plucking your eyebrows every day. At all. Everybody's had that one time where somebody messed up and was like, it took up a little bit yeah. too much. So you had, you know, that Botox face like, hey. Or you just tried to use the pencil and prayed you didn't sweat the rest of the day. Like, oh, oh, okay. Well, but that's another thing too. Drawing on your eyebrows. Here's oh the thing, ladies and gents. I'm all here for filling in for the loose spaces, but you can't draw over and above. <laughs> if you're gonna be whoopee, be whoopee. <laughs> There's paint where there should be hair. Just give, just live in your whoopee space. We're here for it. Well, some people have to draw them in because they're thin. I, that's fine no, that's me, different. but I'm talking about people who do the magic marker Beijing line. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, the Sharpie look, and you know what we're talking about, and, but you know what I'm talking about, that Sharpie look? No. Also, but being too thin, some people just go overboard. Mm -hmm. They either do too much or too little or nothing at all. If you don't like to get your eyebrows done, then that is you. That's you. But Congratulations. And I've seen people who actually have tattooed on their brows. Yeah, I'm, I think that's okay. not good. But what you want to do with a tattoo is this. <laughs> ba -da -ba 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 stop. <laughs> so, when in public places, <laughs> it is my personal preference that people not be loud. Don't be on the phone carrying on a conversation, a one-sided conversation from my perspective. La I don't want to know what y'all are talking about. Then you then you get your hands full, you put the person on speakerphone, now the whole store knows what you're discussing. Oh. I don't like loud people in general. That's true. I have a problem with that. You can project when you need to, but like my dad's good for that. But you're not going to hear my phone, yeah! Shh, no, like why are you so, be quiet. Why? I don't understand. Maybe you can't hear yourself, but you're bothering me, especially people having inappropriate conversations, just loud and disrespectful. Why? No, nah, he didn't put my check in the mail yet, but you know he told me he was coming on Tuesday. It's Friday now. So, uh. Oh, here, ring this out. So, uh. Shut up. Like, no. Get a headset. Get something. Get sound control. And the people who do speakerphone in public. Yeah, da da da. Right, so you. And you're still loud. <laughs> and you're talking to the speaker. Why? Why? As Cassie would say, I'm, I'm cool for that. I'm, I'm, I'm cool for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank but you. Bye. I'm, I'm cool for that. Another trying topic. <laughs> trying. You gotta try it. Another. Exactly. Here's the thing. Not everyone knows how to pronounce everything. And that is okay. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> it's when you try to be fancy and you trip yourself up. 
That's where the issue That's arises. Where the issue is. Stick to the script. Stick <laughs> to your six piece and medium fry. If that's what you know you need to say, then say it and move forward. Do not oh, goodness. be like, can I get the tilapio uh, and uh, what is that? I, I don't know. Yeah. And the filet mignon and the, <laughs> um, um, with a large glass of the Moscata. Moscata? Yes, that's the sweetest one, right? That's dessert wine, people! Thank you. I like, I love some Moscatas. Do you? I wish I knew what, can I try some? I'd like to love it too, because I don't know what that is. Oh, I've never been to this Thai restaurant. I want to try this. Y'all got that white sauce? The what? That white sauce, the Alfredo's? Alfredo? <laughs> <laughs> and let me say, disclaimer. It's not about being an, an elitist At or all. anything like that. All I'm saying is stick to what you know, and if you don't know, ask. It's ask. very simple. You can literally look up words on the internet, and they'll press the button beside it, and they'll say the sound for it's you. It's very but simple. But when you're trying to teach me something, yeah, I always get that for me know. It's okay to just look something up real quick. You never catch me slipping. I'm, I'm just good for good here's a I'm trick table. I was about to say trick of the trade. Catch it here. You'll never catch me slipping. If I'm unsure, I ask Google. My <laughs> best friend. My best friend. Best friend in the world. Right here with it. But when you try to educate someone else, you're trying to show off on a date, you should have talked to Miss Google first. <laughs> and once you know, you'll always know. Don't be fancy, okay? Don't, don't use $100 words on a $2 budget. That was good. Checkmate! <laughs> As always, thank you for the support. Thank you for watching again, loves. When you see this video, it will be Friday always. Um, and the next day is a... Uh, so Homecoming. Turn up, turn up, hey, bow, bow. So if you see me on the street and I don't know you, you're my spellhouse family, but you've been watching the Ram Show. Yeah, say what's up. I'm glad the sister. I want to know. I want to hear. Take a picture. Tweet us because your phone's like going to be working. Hey, check that. Check the um, episode check A. Check episode A. Catch it. But um, how about the sister? Have you been watching the Ram Show? In public in general. Hey. If you see us out in Atlanta or wherever we <laughs> may be because we like to travel and you watch the show, Say what's up, and if we don't see you waving, tweet us or something. <laughs> Seriously, we <laughs> love you guys for watching. Thank you, and we'll see you next week. As always, more random analytical moments. Bow, bow. Hello, America. Hey, hey, pay attention. Look at me. Hey, hey. Are you doing the chicken head? Yeah, I have to throw it back. Throw that back with the Air Force One. Yeah. Sweet tea. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta be sweet. Why? Why? Oh look a baby dingo! <laughs>